concerned with is that many of them were in middle school when Barack Obama was elected. Now think about that for a second. For many, uh, many millennials around the country right now, college age, they don't really know much of the United States about Barack Obama's president. And so, while it's obvious that he's not on the ballot, what's less obvious and less well known to many of those folks is that in 2000, Al Gore got 91% of the black vote. And the question then becomes, there is a unique and huge opportunity to reshape American politics for black voters if, as Bill pointed out in, the, in his great remarks, if the turnout and enthusiasm gap, if you will, is closed. But how do you do that when a large segment of the black population is somewhat ambivalent about the nominee for which most black folks, for the party, for the nominee of the party for which most African Americans have voted over the course of the last 50 plus years. It's possible that Secretary Clinton could get a similar slice as Al Gore on the, on the 2016 pie, but the pie may well be smaller than it was in 2008 or 2012. Uh, and ironically, it's possible at the same time that the black vote as a proportion of the actual national vote could be a small slice of a bigger pie because we don't necessarily know if African Americans are going to feel enthusiastic about showing up to vote. Now, why might they feel less enthused? Well, you know, all segments of the American populace have what, depending on the issues that mean most to them, could have very long memories. And there are some African Americans who are still angry with Secretary Clinton over the 2008 campaign. There are still African Americans who are upset with President Clinton over welfare reform, the crime bill, or a variety of other concerns. Uh, and so, for those voters, there is some ambivalence about Secretary Clinton. Now, conversely, you gotta vote for somebody, and if you're not gonna vote for Secretary Clinton, the next largest likely alternative is Donald Trump. And, stop giggling. And the, the reality is that Donald Trump is going to have historically low support among African American voters. Some of you may, may recall 1964 and the Barry Goldwater campaign in which he got 6% of the vote, and Donald Trump is currently polling at about 2% among African Americans. Of course, these numbers don't always pan out uh, on election day, but think about that for a second. If he comes out at about 2 or 3%, that's, you know, a third to a half of what Barry Goldwater got in 1964. Now, I, th I think that speaks to just how deep a hole he has created for himself in the upcoming election. So, a little more context. There have been 22 presidential elections since 1936 when we had even rudimentary polling information. And only once in those 22 elections has the Republican nominee received 40% or more. And that was in 1944 when Tom Dewey uh, ran. Only three, Wendell Wilkie, Dwight Eisenhower, and Richard Nixon got between 30 and 39% of the black vote. And more recent Republican nominees have been significantly worse off and generally running in the 10 to 15% space. Setting aside for a second the historic headwinds that John McCain and Mitt Romney ran in.